Hello YouTubers. I just wanted to make a quick video. I had this thing purring like a kitten and idling pretty good too just by controlling uh, the throttle on the carburetor. That RC carburetor, 0.28 softener. And this fresh air valve right here. And it's been sitting for about 10-15 minutes so it's cooled down on me. So y'all gonna get to see how hard it may or may not be to start. Usually it's alright. Let's find out. run right there for a minute or two. This is that same reactor. I got a hot zone about five inches long. I'm running in a new rod, 440C stainless steel. Uh, seems to work real well. I get frequency readings. I'll show you guys that here in a minute once, once I idle it back down here in a minute. And uh, But I can keep it revved out like that and it'll run pretty good. The rod is still too long. I might be able to actually get it all the way down to like maybe two inches gonna be a real short rod in this one.
on me. I think I had to mix it with the two main on. Hang on, I get the fire bag out. smog pump coming in the mail I'm going to use to uh, circulate and keep pulling air through that geek. It'll be a lot more steady than the pulsating of the engine. I think that cuts down on a lot because that lower RPM, it tends to bounce the rod around. But I got it pretty balanced out with the way I did the rod stop and the rear end of the rod this time. And uh, we're going to go from there. I'm going to try to recirculate some of the uh, reformed fuel once it passes through the reactor one time using the small pump and I'm going to send it back to the front of the reactor to cut down on the amount of oxygen going in there because I believe uh, we don't want the uh, partial oxidation or uh, maybe the rod just needs to be way short because there is a spot on the rod about maybe an inch, inch and a half up that will start showing this black crud black crud on it and. Uh, and now I think that's where the fuel is burning. This is that T304 stainless steel inner tube. And I just got this kind of jerry rig right here because I need to get some more copper tubing. And uh, what I've been working on, the real short reactors seem to do real well. Said I got a hot zone about five inches on here. Right now the rod is just a little over four inches. 440 stainless steel. And I run this rod in there once and I was actually yeah where is it? I run this rod in there once. It was actually getting a pretty good reaction on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. But there are little slight spiral spiral markings on this rod. I don't know how well you can see it. slight spiral markings, but then after this one I switched to four, uh, I think it was called 4130 mild steel, and I wouldn't have very much luck with it at all. This is uh, one of the rods I ran, and it gets real dark towards the end of it. You can tell where that's where the fuel's burning. More than likely this rod would have been all the way down inside here somewhere, uh, but I never could get any spiral patterns on uh, mild steel. Only stainless. And stainless, you don't get the scorch marks like you do with the 4130. I, I really don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's something to do with the catalytic properties of it. Uh, I don't know for sure. What's up, Katie? What's up? Well, let me finish up, okay? 